She arrived at the Soweto Magistrate Court not knowing what charges had been leveled against her. But after a few hours, we'll give you honor and glory. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. She was released on bail to reappear on the 23rd of April, 2021. Pastor Fariseni Mukuba, popularly known as Pastor Mukuba, said there was more to her arrest than the chaos that ensued at her church on Sunday by the Johannesburg Metro Police Department. The harassment by the Johannesburg Metro Police Department happens at unity even when there is no one, they come. Even when I'm alone broadcasting online, they come. They come and they come, they take photos inside the house, the temple of God. That nonsense really has to stop. And I can say it that I am an adult and I've never seen in the history of Jobek Metro Police that they had ever discharged so much ammunition anywhere else not even in protests when people are protesting and burning uh, tires on the road burning buildings destroying we have never seen the police acting the way they acted on sunday at unity which just shows that they are not fighting against uh, 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 people but they have taken it upon themselves to fight against god i was taken asking uh, what is my charge? Do you know what the police officer answered me? He said, hey, humble way now, let's go, let's go. You're going to meet your snake, Pambil. That was the answer. Me asking about the charge. What are you charging for? I was never told what I'm being arrested for when I was taken from the house of the church. And then when we were going to the car to the van because there was no charge. I said, can I use my car to the police station? They said, no, no, I'm the van. Then we went to the van. If you see that video where I turned around, I was still asking what is the charge? And uh, still it was said, you will hear Pambil. You will hear when we get there. There was no charge. It took a long time for them to come up with the charges. Later on, that is when they say, okay, the rice. You are telling me about my rice in the evening, whereas you took me around two in the evening. And they first wrote something, if I can show you the rice charge, they first wrote something, it got stretched, he said, no, the, the, the thing has changed. Another instruction came, they wrote, wrote other things again. It was chaos there, there was so much confusion. So much confusion because when things are cooked up, they don't add up quickly. Amen. And uh, we said that we only uh, got a uh, release on bail around past 12. She said the church was being discriminated against in South Africa, but however added, the South Africa will continuously stand for Jesus. The church is discriminated against. The church is discriminated against in South Africa. We are being marginalized. And we are praying to God and we are raising up our voices that it should stop. And there is pro police brutality as well. Let me say it that we have been speaking, we have written, because we have seen that it is the prayers of unity that are shaking. The prayers of the churches that are shaking. We are saying churches are not going anywhere. We are going to pray. And we say South Africa for Jesus. She narrated her gruesome ordeal she went through at the hands of the police. They put me in a van that has been carrying many people. That was not sanitized. Not they say they are for COVID rules. They are for COVID rules. These are people who are fighting for COVID rules. Then I sat there in that van and remember they took me, I was from the house, so 
I, I was not even wearing a mask because I was inside my house. And then I said, sorry, can I get my mask? Even that, they refused. They ignored me. And they pulled the van, they put it somewhere down there. And it was there for a very long time in the sun. After a very long time, that is when they drove to the police station, pulling the van and driving it like mad. It was driven by a woman, but it was like this woman was possessed. She drove it like a possessed woman, and then it went into Morocco. There at Morocco, still they didn't take me out of the van, at the Morocco police station. They didn't take me out of the van. I said they, you know, it just took hours. Uh, uh, after a long time, then the other woman that I'm talking about came again. She is the one who opened for me. And uh, they said, okay, get inside the cells. I asked, what is the charge? What is the charge? And then they said, hey, 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 just get inside the... I said, but there on the, on the door, I turned and said, there on the door, uh, it is written that I've, I've got rice. When I turned, he just pushed me. They pushed me, here is the evidence. And uh, the SAPS police were asking as well, what are we putting them here for? It took a very long time for the charges to be formulated. She stated that what happened on Sunday was as a result of hatred of God by some people, and this will not deter her from ministering the word of God. We are never going to stop. We are never going to stop. We have seen that when we pray, the operations of darkness are disturbed, and that the devil is afraid of the church in South Africa. There is no one who will stop the church. This is a hatred of God. We know that we are not uh, 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 persecuted as individuals. But this is about the kingdom of God. It's about the hatred for Christ. And he warned us before that these days were going to come. And we are excited that we are experiencing this. We are not suffering as criminals. We are suffering for the name. And uh, I'm happy that I'm counted worthy to suffer for the name like the first apostles.